Hi guys, I just kind of wanted to do a little bit of a haul of what I do because there's nothing on either YouTube or anywhere else that I could find about what music majors usually take to school. Now, I know that this is only the kind of thing that I would like to carry, but maybe just kind of give you an idea of what you should get if you're starting um, in uh, college this semester and you're a freshman and you're a music major and you kind of need an idea of what you might want to get. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this. This is an index card case and I got this at Staples. As you can see it's at Staples right there. Um, this was only a dollar. Uh, I don't remember the prices for all of these things but they're having a back to school sale thing right now and if you pay I think it's ten dollars you get the, and you buy this card you get fifteen percent off one five not fifty fifteen percent off anything that you buy um, until I think it's September 15th or something like that so I got these post-its at first I thought they'd look kind of like a tomato but it's actually an apple and it came with a green one too and it's just kind of a cute little post-it thing and I use these like I stick them on my planner or sometimes in my choir music or like if I have to remember something and they're just kind of a little bit more fun and a little bit less like the standard uh, post-it so I have these as well this is kind of like a little notebook of tabs and they're just in those three colors that you can see here and they're by Avery they're pretty good I got these because I couldn't find the size that I needed from um, post-its so I just I got those now these are the ones that I really like using I use these for my choir music mostly and my repertoire music I what I do is that I take this is my binder that I use for my uh, studio lessons and this is the uh, what is it called the Avery heavy duty uh, I think one inch binder and I'm gonna explain something to you about this thing a lot of people let me switch the camera a lot of people don't know this especially musicians but this binder is about seven dollars or so and it sounds expensive but it's totally worth it it opens and closes with this little button right there and you can try to break these open as much as you want like I'm trying really hard right now I don't know if you could see or not but it's barely moving apart and it's perfect because if you drop it or you throw it on the floor which we do sometimes your music is not gonna be falling out and flying everywhere um, this is a three hole punch thing that I bought now I've bought many of these before but this little thing like the little hole thing was always plastic so after folding paper like putting the papers on top of it it would break so it was always an issue also it doubles as a ruler in case you ever need it now this big orange thing looks really weird and what it is is a piece of like kind of cardboard paper that I cut into half and I taped together because I don't know about your school but we have this like long um, window in their practice rooms and people are always looking in there and it makes me really self-conscious because it's like I feel like I'm being watched kind of a thing and I just don't like it so I keep that in my repertoire binder and it's just very compact so that you can't even tell that it's there so I just kind of like put it in the back or the front of the binder and then put my other stuff um, going back to what I was showing was the little tabs. Now this keeps you really, really organized. I really love how I save at least a minute in choir, not having to scramble through everything that I have because I have one of those choir binders which I will link in this post. It's called from my, I think it's my choirfolders.com or something like that. I'll link it in the post. and. I just put these, I label what song it is or part of the song title and I will just go to it and it's so quick and easy. I also use these sometimes for the ones that are like really thick or maybe I just don't see quite as clearly in the back. And then I have these 
which I just got. They came on, and they were in clear, on clearance. I think it was like $3 or something like that at Staples. And I'm going to probably be using these for my planner, which I will show you in a moment because these colors all go with my planner. So these I sometimes use also for uh, music, like in my repertoire binder, because this part you can write on it but it's clear so if you have part of the one of the staves of music behind it you can still read it so it's kind of nice and I got this cute little paper clip holder thingy that came with all my favorite colors let me show you it's silver and black and red and it's really nice and I really really like it and I got these index cards that I use when I'm memorizing translations for my pieces. I'm a vocalist in case you haven't figured that out. Because, you know, the Singer's Bible is not even close to letting you know what it is that I do. Um, anyway, so it's really nice and I like it. And the reason why it has these holes in the top, I'm going to show you in a moment why. Because there are these little rings, silver rings, that you put on it and you can just flip it back and forth, but you can add as many pages as you want. So it's really, really nice. Um, I know that this is probably a little bit kind of jinxing myself or something, but uh, this is a little whiteboard that I got and it came with an erasable marker that has a little eraser thing on it. And it has a magnet on the back and a sticky thing. It's supposed to be, I think, for lockers or whatever. But I got this because last semester I got viral bronchitis, which if you don't know what that is, it's basically bronchitis, but that you are more susceptible to it and other people are more susceptible to it because it's airborne, basically. And I couldn't breathe very well, much less talk for a while. So I was constantly coughing and it was just not, you know, not good. So... In case I need to communicate, and they don't have a text message, like I'm in class or whatever, they don't have text uh, on their phones or whatever, I'm going to use this. So I bought it just to be prepared. Um, another thing I also got were these Kleenex things. Now, I think these were like maybe a dollar or two, and they are foldable little um, Kleenex things, and they're really nice, and they're two in a pack. And I'm going to keep these in my bag, although my school, my music department always has tissues somewhere. But during, I live in Florida, so allergies are a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. And uh, pollen, it's like the highest pollen in the country or something like that. It's really bad. Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to keep those on hand. And this, I will suggest for anyone. This is for... Um, this is a refill paper for your binder. Now, this has, I wish I could, sh I'll show you on my binder when I open it, which is this one over here. Um, and it has like a harder thing, like a tape or something, plastic -y tape thingy behind it. And it makes it so that your, the holes of the paper don't tear so easily, like it says right there. Reinforced holes prevent tearing. And it's really nice, and I think this was like 3 or $4, and it's not really a lot of paper, but it's so worth it because um, it avoids the tearing. And let me tell you, from someone who has had this happen for years, I'm so glad that they, they have this. I don't know why I didn't even think of buying these before. So, okay. Now, this is my favorite thing. This is my... Um, pride and joy, if you will, for the term. I'm going to explain why. First of all, this is not a really wide um, three ring, you know, plasticky, rubbery ring binder. Let me show it to you in perspective to another one. This is an old one that I have. And as you can see, let me put this one on top so you can see it. Sorry, I'm a little bit disorganized here. Doing this with one hand. Okay, so in perspective, you can see that the red one is a little bit smaller than the navy blue one. All around. Kind of like saving you about, um, I'm not really great with measurements, but I'm going to guess probably about an inch if you put it spine to spine. And the thing about this is that it's a little too 
smaller. Now, I carry a lot of things in school, so this was very practical for me. And um, I have here my regular paper. Now, as you can see, I don't know if you could see this, but you can kind of, there it is. You can kind of see like this little shiny part here because it's kind of like covered in like a weird tape or something all, all along here so that it is a little bit more reinforced. Now what I did was, because I don't know about you guys, but this is my theory notebook. I take like word, like written notes, and I also take notes on these. So what I did was that my school has uh, in the bookstore uh, manuscript paper notebooks, but the notebook had these uh, holes in them because they were spirals. So what I did was that I cut out the spiral and I could probably do a video on that at some point later on and um, I hole punched everything and put it in the binder because I'm going to need it. And then in the back I have this little like quick reference thing like I have been so tired before that I couldn't even remember what key, I mean how many sharps were in E major. Like it's, it, yeah, I'm, I know it's sad, but there are days that I'm that exhausted that I can't even function. Um, and that's my theory uh, notebook. Also, because I like matching um, either the notebook with the folder or the subject, this is going to be my folder. And as you can see, it says there theory counterpoint. I know my handwriting is really bad, but whatever. So I have this folder so that I can put in like whatever homework I get back or um, handouts or just homework I need to hand in and that way it's protected and it's safe and what I'll do is that I'll probably put it like inside just like that and it solves that whole like space issue and it won't bend or anything. I'm also taking, um, what's it called? Uh, the art of performing this semester and I and I'm really looking forward to that class and I hope it's as fun as much fun as I think it's going to be so I picked this beautiful like Indian color pattern type thing um, notebook and I really love the colors on this because look at how beautiful the details are and this notebook I think was three dollars and I didn't even notice this until I got home but this is a pocket like in the front, it's amazing. And it also has one on the back and I'll show you that when I'm done showing you this. So it has this beautiful, these beautiful, beautiful colors, like right there. And it's just, you know, regular college world note paper. And I matched it with this folder that has a lot of leaves that are the colors that are on the cover of this notebook. And I really like it because it's going to be really nice. I think it went perfectly. There's only a few colors that it doesn't have, which kind of bugged me a little bit, but whatever. And this is from C Studio, or actually, here is the website. So if you want to go ahead, and this is a Taj Mahal by Kathy Law. And I think it's gorgeous. And it also has the pocket in the back, like I was saying, like right here. So that's good to know. And I really, really like the colors for this. And I'm, I think it's going to be really nice being able to take notes. And I'm hoping that the teacher doesn't go 50,000 miles a minute because it always makes it more complicated whenever I'm trying to take notes. And I think they forget that. Whatever. Um, I'm also taking, uh, what's it called? Uh, diction, English and Italian diction, which is one class combined. And the first half is this semester, and the spring we have German and French diction. So it's kind of like a two-part class, and I'm really looking forward to it. So this notebook I actually got, I don't know if it was last semester or last year, but I got this at Target. And the reason I picked this, I don't, the reason why I didn't use this is because the class that I was going to use it for was my, um, I think it was my world music class. It really was more convenient for me to use my uh, computer, which you can see right over there. 
Um, it was really more convenient for me to use it than handwritten because she went, she talked really, really fast. So as you could see, it has like little index things here that I don't really use, but you know, it's good to have like if somebody gives you a business card or, and you have to call them or whatever, like the advisor or whatever. It has a pocket like right there. And then this has two pockets. It has one horizontal and one kind of diagonal right here. And this is the divider, which it's good because it protects your notes. And you have the first subject and then the back here, you have another divider, which is exactly like the one in the front. And it's two subjects. That's why I'm going to have this one for uh, diction because, you know, Italian, English, so on. And this is the teal folder that I'm going to be using matched up with um, the notebook because it has teal here and teal there and it matches and that's perfect. So I'm going to put this back in here. And then because I am not going to be carrying around with paper, like you could see the folders. You could see that these folders are really not going to be hanging on to a lot of paper because even though they're kind of like a plastic cover, I mean plastic kind of case, they're not going to keep papers from, you know, slipping out. So what I got was this multi-pocket folder, which is where I'm going to put like old, like graded quizzes and graded homework and things that I and tests that I've already gotten grades for and I really don't need to carry with me, but I'm going to keep it with me just so that I can, um, what do you call it? So just so that I can refer to them if I need to, like to prepare for the final or whatever, if I need it at some point for the rest of the semester. Uh, then at the end of the semester, I will throw out what I don't need and then I will start over again with the next um, semester. So I actually, I got this idea from um, one of the many, many back to school videos that I have seen on YouTube. Uh, you can look for what's in my school bag or my school supply hall, uh, not mine, but you know, for keywords, and you can get a lot of ideas. Now, obviously, I'm a girl, so I got this really pretty planner, and I think it was um, about $16 or something like that, and it's a little overpriced, but I'm very particular about what school supplies I get. So this is an academic uh, day runner, and it's really, really nice. I really love the colors. It's very vibrant. Now, I would normally show uh, the top cover. Let me just hold on a second. Look over here while I do this. Okay, so here, you, where my hand is right now, is where you put like your name and your contact information in case you lose it, right? Okay, well, obviously I'm covering it because my personal profile is personal. And um, here is a calendar, like a brief three-year reference. I don't know why you'd need three years to reference to right away. But um, this actually goes from July to the following June, which is awesome. And it gives you quite a bit of space to write down um, like homework assignments and to-do lists. And I'm going to show you kind of how I do this. So like I have my work schedule in purple because I do the same thing with, uh, what should we call it? Um, with my phone, I have anything relating to work in purple. And I have like my work schedule or whatever. And yeah, so it works out really well. It's very nice to keep everything organized. And you also get like a month overview of everything. But it's also leaves you a little bit of room here, like to write notes or make a list or whatever. So I really like that. It's very nice in my opinion. 
And I'm usually very, very picky about that kind of thing, but, you know, I try not to be, which doesn't always work out. Okay, so this is my ultimate kind of folder that I like. Now, the reason why I'm not using this for all my classes is because I really don't need to right now, and then if I need to switch it out later, I will. So you could see that it has like a weird kind of spine. And the reason why is because these five star folders, which in my opinion are the best. Now here's a little content like summarizing what it is. And it tells you like all the, like that it has the, the pocket flap thing. Like you could put index cards in here, which is what I do. And it has the spine here so that you could, uh, Put whatever papers and you just flip this up and you put the papers on there and I really love this because this pocket has the regular pocket and then up here it has the top flap so that your documents don't fall out which as we know happens a lot so this is always a really good thing to carry um, I also have let me see what else I'm gonna show you my what's in my pencil case because it's gonna help now some of this, uh, this is the five star. I love five star um, school supplies because they're usually, usually being the operative word, very durable. And I really like them because of that reason. Um, I got this at Staples also. Now, I know that you could put this in your binder, but the idea of putting this much weight in my binder is just really not appealing to me. Um, I don't think it's smart. I think it's going to cause a lot of problems eventually, and it's going to bend my binder, and I don't want that. So here is my pencil bag, and I love that you can, like, fold over the sides. And here is the first thing on there, which I, this is not going to stay in here. This is just because the bag that I want to buy for school hasn't, uh, is out of stock right now. So I have to wait to order it, I guess. So here's a mini stapler. And then in the back, it has like a, like a staple lifter thingy, whatever it's called. Uh, remover, staple remover. And I got this at Walmart a really long time ago. And I don't really like staples very much, like staplers very much, because I don't use them that often. But in case I needed them for whatever reason, I just, I, I got it just in case I need it or whatever, or somebody else needs it. Um, these pens, they had on sale. And the beauty of these is that you can write, now this is purple, it might look blue on the, on the camera, but this is purple. And here you have the eraser. So basically this eraser works with this ink and it erases it with friction. And I would demonstrate it, but it's just not gonna happen right now. Um, these are my favorite, favorite, favorite pens. Now this is the black, Pentel RSVP in fine. And I like these better because, first of all, these don't bleed on the paper, which I love. Second of all, they write very smoothly. And third, it's not chunky, which is good because I don't like chunky pens. Like a, a lot of times gel pens can be that way. And like these gel pens I'll use for, um, I think these are considered gel pens. Well, actually it's ballpoint but whatever um I don't like how thick they are and it's okay for the planner but otherwise no and this is a highlighter that's also um erasable by the same brand pilot and violet friction or whatever so yeah now this pencil I really like let me show you what it is and I've had this for a very long time and this uses 0.5 lead as you can see from there and I really like this you can see this I really like this particular thing for uh, music notation 
because it's not it's less messy less bulky and you can write a little bit more accurately so I really like those but unfortunately a pack of two of these at Staples was like uh, I want to say like seven dollars or something like I think it was like seven forty nine and it just made no sense for me to spend seven forty nine or seven whatever on it when I could buy a pack of these point five and they're cheaper I know but they're the big uh, pencils for seven dollars and it brought I think twenty six it's just you know smart thinking uh, where is the other thing I was going to show you? It's kind of crucial. Okay. This, every music major should have this. This is a retractable eraser. And the way that it works is that you push this with up and down with your thumb. As you can see. And here you can see, like, what it is. Click eraser. And it's really fun. I, I, I try not to annoy my teacher the teacher I had last semester because I kept doing this whenever I was like bored or thinking or whatever like I would just totally zone out when I was exhausted and so I have that and I also have the, le the little um, refills easy, yeah eraser refills so it has two in the pack and it's very it's very convenient and safe in the little bag so I'm going to keep those there. And then this, these are the like the 0 0.7, yeah, 0 0.7 lead. And I use these just for whatever or in case someone needs to borrow it. Sorry, that was falling. Um, I just really, really, really don't like to use um, the 0 0.7 lead on notation. It's just not... I write very messy. I don't try to, but I have like motor skill problems apparently. And this is something I'm trying out. This is the Sharpie liquid pencil. And it's retractable and I really like that. And it I feel weird writing with it honestly. And then it has like the eraser thingy up here. So that's good. Uh also I have these which this is purple. I don't know if you could see. It looks like navy blue, but it's purple. And these are the color pens. Let me show you. That I use for writing. Right here. And these are the ones, like, for writing notes or whatever, or whenever, like, red would be, like, for something that's going to be on a test or a definition that's really important. So I have all those things, and that's that. And then over here in my, let me see if I can do this one-handed. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to open the little pouch. It's like a little Velcro thing, like right here. And I'm trying to open it for you guys. Okay. So, these are the rings I was talking about that go with the index cards. And it's very helpful. And I have some, you know, normal paper clips. Like I have the bigger ones. And then I have, if I can get it out, these also, because some teachers prefer these. I don't know why, but they do. And I hope it's not because they steal them. <laughs> so, yeah, so that's pretty much everything I have. Um, I hope this was really helpful to you. If you have any questions, feel free to message me and I will answer them as best I can. Um, good luck to your first semester if it's your first semester and if not then good luck in your next semester. Um, work really hard and stay focused and remember that this is not easy. If it were easy everybody would be doing it but just remember if you feel like this is what you love and this is what you're meant to do go for it and don't let anything stop you. Okay? Have a wonderful term. Bye.